Hello friends. Last week I showed my top tips for reducing drawing lag in OpenTunes and Tahoma 2D. And if you missed it, you can check that out by following the card above and then come back here. But one of the tips I mentioned was using the viewer's preview option. So today I wanted to dig a little deeper and show how you can save so much time by using the preview window. So what is previewing? Well, it's a way to see any effect that you've added to calculate transforming your vector lines to the raster output and then render them, and for OpenTunes to cache all of this so that your animation plays nearer to the full speed. And you can enable it in two ways. First, you can turn it on in the main viewer by clicking the preview button at the top right of the viewer, and it's the left preview button that you want to click to preview the whole camera area. And you notice that after a brief pause, it calculates the vector lines and applied the effects to this frame. And the bar at the bottom of the viewer represents the whole scene's length. And this start area that represents the first frame is rendered, but the rest is red, meaning that it isn't yet, not until you play it. So then, when you play your animation, it calculates the rendered image for each frame. And the red frame markers change to green as it calculates, and then clear once it's calculated. And the first time round, this is slow. But on second playing, you get the benefit and the pre-rendered frames are now shown quicker. And using the viewer preview is fine for quickly checking out an effect on a single frame or to check out a few frames. But the way I always recommend to preview is to use the separate preview window. And you show that from the render menu. And notice by the red bar at the bottom of the preview window's viewer that it calculated the frames as soon as I opened the window. It didn't wait until I played the animation. Plus, behind the scenes, it calculates the render in a different, more efficient way in this window. And these two facts make using it a lot quicker than the main viewer's preview, which is the first reason why I recommend using this separate preview window. But you can change some options to make it even quicker. And you get to them through the preview settings command in the render menu. And I won't go through all these options here, but I'll mention two really important settings. The first of which are which frames to preview. And if you're working on just a small part of your scene, why waste time waiting for the whole scene to be calculated for the preview? And for that instance, just change the start and end frame numbers. And the next setting, and this is huge, is to change the shrink value from one to a larger number. So what does this mean? Well, the value is a scaling value. So one is full size. So for an HD scene, it'll generate an HD preview. But most of the time, you won't be viewing this window covering your full HD screen. So you might be zoomed out to 50% or even less. And in this instance, I'm zoomed out just to 39%. So I don't need to render a full preview. So if we go back to the settings and change the shrink value to two, this scales the whole preview to half size. That's a half height and half width. Three would reduce it to a third of the size, and four to a quarter of the size. So if we leave the shrink on three and hit preview, and then right click in the preview window and change the zoom to reset the zoom to 100%, this is 100% zoomed with a shrink value of three, just a third of the size. So opening this preview window is now even quicker. And the final setting to show you is this tick box. Apply shrink to main viewer. To use this shrink value for the main viewer. So if I tick that and close the preview settings, when I enable preview, it will now be shrunk to a third of the resolution, making it much quicker to preview. And you'll see each frame here regenerating much quicker. So if you found this video useful, I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up so it can spread to more viewers. And do let me know in the comments how you normally preview in animation and will using these tips help you? And you can download the project file that I used today to examine the animation and the effects that I added by becoming a Patreon. And you can find details of that just here. So I'll see you next time for more tips. And that's a guarantee.